Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's JJ, ramblings about comic sense stuff in the heart or near the end of day one, San Diego Comic Con 2023. So yeah, as you can see, plenty of crowds on the opening day. And uh, you can see the aisle markers. So I am standing right about in the center of the exhibit hall, aisle 2800 which uh, historically historically has been uh, roughly the dividing line between uh, the comics uh, retailers and vendors, which are down there, and then the comics publishers, who, uh, who I'm standing by right now. Um, in fact, one of these publishers, IDW and Top Shelf, is returning. But, Dark Horse Comics is back after uh, taking last year off. So, uh, that's kind of cool to see in a show that, uh, again, is, is a lot about comics more than movies and television, uh, considering the uh, ongoing writers and actors strike. So. Um, this point is kind of the dividing line, like I say. Comics type stuff to my left. And as I look down here, you get more of the uh, toy manufacturers. Well, Viz is a comics publisher, but you'll see Lego. And as I continue to pan around here, You'll see down there is uh, Mattel. So further down this way are a lot of the uh, the movie and TV studios who, uh, as has been said, don't have a celebrity presence here, but uh, some have also opted not to uh, even set up in the exhibit hall this year. Um, past years, there's been there's been AMC, there's been Netflix, uh, there's been Stars. They've all they've all opted out of displaying at the show. Um, what's what's become apparent though? Spider-Man showed up though. What's become apparent though is is today being the first full day of the con, um, and really no non comics programming, uh, there's been a noticeably larger crowd on the floor rather than some 6,500 of them crowding into Hall H. And more so, a lot of the panels, the comics-related panels, uh, uh, had a much higher attendance. Um, probably because a lot of people looking for programming with nothing else to do decided to sit in on some comics panels. So um, kind of the buzz right now is that um, kind of the, the writers and actors strike have kind of brought San Diego Comic-Con back to being a, a comic show, uh, which is kind of cool, but, you know, there are a lot of people who uh, did come here to see the celebrities. You know, one thing I can I can observe is uh, the, the DC panels. I, I covered uh, two DC panels earlier today for CBR. One was the uh, Gotham City panel where uh, DC announced uh, some of their new Batman related titles coming up as well as uh, Spotlight on Jim Lee panel. Jim Lee is the publisher and um, chief creative officer, I guess, of the company, and that's a that's an annual panel where where Jim Lee just comes out and uh, does does several live sketches that he ends up giving away to the crowd, and uh, uh, just uh, shoots the stuff uh, about whatever. So uh, engages fans, uh, some one-on-one -on -one questions. He talked about AI. He talked about why he typically doesn't do sketches for free anymore. Um, he talked about DC's flagship characters and and how and why people identify with them. 
uh, it was interesting, but what I'm getting at is it was hard to get into some of these panels. There, there were, there were uh, lines of people waiting to get in, and uh, probably not everyone got, uh, got to get in. So it's been, it, it, it's been a, a, a cool but different vibe. Um, more more comic centric, like like the comic cons of the the 90s and early 2000s and the pre all age days. Um, maybe what I'll do is take a walk. The crowd has thinned out from this morning. Uh, in the morning, you see a lot of people. Um, trying to get here early to get all their exclusives and get in the signing lines and, and everything. But here's, uh, here's a little closer look at uh, Dark Horse Comics booth. Like, they've got some cool, uh, they've got some cool looking statues in here. Last of Us fans. Man, those fungus zombies give me nightmares. Let's just take a quick little walk down the other way. You know, one of the uh, publishers that actually has returned also is DC Comics, speaking of them. And, uh, but they're actually set up in CW's old booth, which is back in the corner. And we'll cover that uh, maybe on Sunday when I do a walkthrough through the, uh, through the show. Silent Bob. How you doing, Bob? Right on. So yeah, come Sunday, 
I'll do a I'll do a walk down this aisle, all the way down this aisle. And we'll see uh, what else is going on over the weekend. So anyway, that's it for now, gang. Uh, JJ ramblings about comics and stuff. Gonna walk around, check some of this stuff out, and uh, I'll come back on tomorrow. And uh, I think, you know what I'll do tomorrow? Speaking of Comic-Con, being about comics again, I'll go do a video from the uh, comics uh, retailers area and uh, show uh, where Comic-Con kind of had its origins. Old comics, so. So that's it for now, gang. JJ Ramley's About Comics and Stuff, signing out. See everyone tomorrow. <laughs>